I mean, I'm 100% doing this wrong. Hold up. Hey Saints, my name is Shelby Downey and welcome back or to my channel if this is the first time you are seeing me. Hello. I am going to be doing a rather a different video today. I used to, as like a kid, love DIY crafty things and they bring me joy. What can I say? So, in today's video, I am going to be DIY crafting this little felt fox. I, okay, disclaimer, I cannot sew to save my life. Um, I, I just, you know what, okay, maybe to save my life I could, but I cannot make, like, clothing, okay? I can barely fix, like, a rip in clothing okay so i did however once make a pillowcase cover and well obviously a case is a cover um and that turned out pretty good but heavy supervision from my mom and yeah i made one of these when i was a kid and was like of a ballerina and she was so great i had so much fun obviously i was like i think like six years old or seven years old or something so my mom pretty much like did most of it but I made it <laughs> and I saw this and I was like I have to make this little box it is so cute um, so it has everything you need inside apparently so okay we've got all of our like felt and threads and that kind of stuff let's see so we've got all of the little things we've got the threads and oh i'm guessing this is like little shirts oh it's actually really nice felt it's like quite soft it's like a i mean you're not gonna be able to see at all but it's got this like slight like fluff to it it's very nice okay we have instructions literally i feel like if you guys hear jingling it's boo she's busy playing with something <laughs> um instructions are the most important thing I would not be able to complete this without instructions. And stuffing. Very important. Boo! I'm making you a fox baby! Number one, threading the needle. Okay, cool. They give us a plastic needle. This is probably a lot safer for me because we know by now that me and sharp objects, we're not good together. Okay, so I've got my little plastic needle and then we've got a black, white and like a teal kind of color thread. And then we have orange thread. So I have already made a knot in this, I've just started. Um, okay, and then ribbon. I'm guessing Begin to stitch. What am I even stitching? Okay, I don't know how to do that. You know what? <laughs> ah, I don't know what I'm doing. So it makes sense. Okay, you know how I said this was going to be... I, I don't understand this. I do not understand this because, okay, that is what they give us, right? But it doesn't say where you have to start sewing or anything like that. Like when I say where, I mean like what fabric piece to start sewing so I'm actually it's gone I'm gonna regret that okay it is gone I am just gonna go for it I'm gonna look at this image and I'm just going to somehow make this can't be that difficult surely Surely. Okay. So. <laughs> I don't know where to start. So it kind of looked like in the What I do remember is they had only one thread through, but I don't know how that makes sense. So I'm, as I said, you know what? I don't actually need those instructions because I... I'm a professional, okay? I'm a pro at this. I know exactly what I'm doing. 
I don't, I'm lying to you. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, well, I made a big knot. I feel like that's too big. Um, shit. You know, it's fine. I just want to know now. So, but then you see the other end of it. It's like, I don't understand how that makes sense. Okay, let me actually do this first. Should we do the eyes first? Let's do the eyes first. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. What did I get myself into? Okay, you know what? This is gonna be, this is gonna be so great. It's gonna be so freaking great. I'm actually so excited. I love foxes. So foxes are actually one of my favorite animals. It probably like, okay, so cats high up there, but I would definitely go fox, raccoon, or raccoon, fox. I don't know. I feel like they're both kind of on the same like league. Um, in the picture, it shows like, so I don't know if you can see. So you see how I'm doing it like that, where I'm missing. In the picture, it shows that every hole has one. So I think that's obviously more secure. So you know what? You know, it's fine. I have I messed up already? Yes. Is it a big deal? If I can get this through, no. If I, there we go. <laughs> um, I could have, I suppose, like double backed, but I only have the thread that they've given me. And normally with this kind of stuff, I feel like they give you the exact amount that you need. Otherwise, then like they're losing money kind of thing. So, you know what, it's fine. We're just gonna quickly go back, double back. I am curious as to how to do it. Hey, Boo. Boo's eating, in case you're wondering what that sound is. Okay, so we can just double back like that. Cool. And that makes it a lot stronger, I'm guessing, as well. Why? There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, that works. That works. I'm hoping that there's going to be enough thread for all of this double backing like this. I honestly don't think there's going to be enough thread. Um, guys, Oh, I'm like two minutes in and I'm really like not understanding how to do this properly. Okay, there's no way that I can. Hey, Boo. Hey. What's mommy doing? What's mommy doing? You come for some moral support, baby. She's like, stop it. I'm making this for you. Yeah. She loves teddy bears. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens. But I'm pretty sure that I'm not gonna have enough thread because I double backed, which I think now I'm understanding why they gave you. Should I try use a single piece? How would I try that? A few moments later. I've done like two holes and like. This thread is becoming shorter and shorter. Like all I'm saying is that sewing is not ever going to be the thing that I do for a living because I don't even know what I did there, honestly. Guys, I don't know if I'm doing, I feel like I'm doing this wrong already. We're just gonna go with it. So I'm closing all these holes, right? How is this one going to stick? <laughs> Was I supposed to do this one last? But then how would I? Hmm. 
Guys, I'm so confused. You know what? I don't know, but we're gonna figure it out when we get there. Because I'm committed now. I'm not halfway, but I'm committed. Mm, yes, yes Rax and Miller. I feel like fabric glue is honestly just so much easier. Is it cheating? 100%. But also, why work harder when you can work smarter? Just saying. I mean, I'm 100% doing this wrong. I just know. I'm just, I'm just imagining Courtney watching this and being like, what are you doing? And honestly, Courtney, I don't even know what I'm doing. This is why you are the fashion designer. And not me, because I probably wasted all my white thread. Um, I mean, look at how bad that back is. But we're just going to carry on going. We're just going to keep on doing this and just keep on hoping for the best because that is literally all that we can do at this stage because I'm now committed. I am committed. This is, that is not a part of it. Yes, that makes sense. Yes, okay. Um, yeah, I'm committed now. I am sewing a professional. I am very glad that this little sewing needle thing is plastic so that I don't take my finger off or stab myself because I feel like we all knew that that was probably going to end up happening if I did not actually have a plastic one. Although I feel like I could probably, I am quite talented at it, so it's not unlikely that I probably would still end up slicing myself with the plastic one. But a lot harder, so you know, that's that's helpful. How funny if I had like sewed all of this and then I checked and like it was the wrong way around. <laughs> it's not though, thankfully. I checked. <laughs> all I'm saying though is that Boo better love her teddy bear. Otherwise, I probably will cry myself to sleep in all honesty. I really, you know what, this looks like a lot of string, but I don't know if it is. Okay, I need to sew on the black eyes. You, oh, you see, because I need this. And now I'm attached with this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to MacGyver something. I'm going to make it work. Basically, my dilemma is that I need to put the nose on and the two eyeballs. But in order for me to successfully do that, I need to get the black knot behind the white. And I'm not going to be able to do that if it's sewed up, technically. But I think, I think, I think, I think, I think I can make a plan. Because not a chance I'm sitting and unpicking all of this um, and also not a chance that I'm going to be using I have sewing needles like actual metal needles but I'm not in the mood to injure myself so we're just gonna not do that and we're just gonna do this I'm starting to stress that I'm not gonna have enough white thread so that's fun and just honestly hope for the best at this point because you know what that is all we can do in life is try our best and hope for the best some wisdom we're getting close now we're getting close to the end of the white thread <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna make it Oh, the anxiety is so, so hectic. Look at this. Ah! Am I going to make it? I think I might just make it. Literally just might make it. Yes, we made it. Woo, okay.
Okay. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna tie it off. This part I do actually know. I do actually know how to do this part. Does it vary incorrectly? I'm so happy. Okay, time for the eyes and the little nose. Okay, so you know what I just realized is that I actually need more white. So that's interesting because I forgot about the ears. So that's probably just going to have orange through it because... Well, I don't have enough and frankly, I don't even know if I'm going to have enough orange for the body. But we move, we try, we... We don't do what I did just now and celebrate too early because afterwards you realize, oh wait, actually, I needed more. And now it's too late. But that's fine. Okay, so issue is trying to get this through now. But, so I'm kind of like sliding it through. See, this is going to work. This is going to work. Look at that. Boom. Do I tie it now or do I somehow loop it through to the nose? Because there's no holes in the back here. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna tie it. I'm gonna tie and we're gonna tuck it. Okay, she's got one ear. I mean, yeah, she's got one eye. Let's give her her other eye now. And then we can give her a little nose. I love that they gave us so much black thread, but not enough white thread. Professional seamstress. Jokes, kidding, I'm terrible, I'm literally terrible, I mean, there's no ways that any of this is secure, but whatever, it is what it is. Okay, now for the little nose, the little snus. This one's so much easier because I didn't sew the bottom part. Oh wait, I need to tie this, <laughs> I almost just pulled it straight through. But, oh, this one's got, okay, cool, that makes more sense. This one, uh, we digress. Oh, it's so cute. I'm so excited. And look how cute he is, okay. Cool. Okay, 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 okay. Um, the ears are giving me so much anxiety because I don't have the right thread for them. Which is not great, obviously. Um, but it is just gonna have to do... This is so cute. I love him. I mean, you know what? It should be fine. It should be fine. It should be fine. There's a lot of orange thread. Which is great. Because there's a lot of this little guy to sew up. And there's a knot in it. Why is there a knot? I cannot believe. There we go. Do 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 do. So much thread. Okay. Okay, so the only like slightly different thing I think with this is I just need to make sure. Why is this not fitting in here? There we go is I just need to kind of make sure that the back looks relatively neat as well um, just because it is obviously going to be exposed it's not going to be hidden like everything else which is kind of weird to me I feel like they could have done it a little bit better where it's not super exposed but I'm sure this is going to be hectic and bright <laughs> oh boo <laughs> Who's playing with the string? Sorry, my baby. No, no. Oh, there's so much thread everywhere. Okay. What's that doing? Gonna be an issue. <laughs> I can already see this. All I'm saying is, boo, this is your fault. <laughs> because. She was entangled, and then you started playing with it, and then she got tangled. Okay, I think I untangled it. So, as per usual, my camera battery died on me. Good soup. <laughs> it's actually tea. And, um, well, I didn't realize until 
I checked. <laughs> oh, okay, so here's the update. I have sewn along there. Um, I'm currently sitting like over there on his back. Um, the eye fell off. <laughs> And I realized, um, because, you know, the more I was doing this, I was like, the front looks really, like, cute with, like, the pattern and stuff, but the back is so inconsistent. Like, how is that supposed to look nice? And then I looked at the box and realized that the stitch that they were using, well, the white and the orange was different. So the orange, they're just leaping around. They're not going like I'm currently doing. So that's great. Um, I love that that extra effort that I did not need that I'm putting in. Um, but yeah, so, so yeah, she is, he, she, it, fox is without an eye, looking dodgy. But the bottom is pretty much all sewed up. So stuffing time, so I can just form her nicely. I love the feel of stuffing. Honestly, it's so great. I love it. Okay, let's just show how funny if I accidentally like sewed her neck shut. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't even put it past me at this stage because like this is not, I don't know what this is, um, but it is, all I'm saying is I'm regretting not using the instructions pretty much. But you know, it is fine. This toy is for my cat and she is very picky actually, but she has no choice but to love it. Hey boo. Hey boo. It's not going into the feet. Let me use smaller pieces maybe. That's maybe the, the trick. I also don't know what I'm gonna do about this um, eye because, yeah, the eye is not wanting to be a part of this fox. I definitely have learned thus far of this whole thing that um, sewing is not my strong suit and it's just honestly quite stressful because I'm trying hard but it's just not working. And it doesn't make sense to me why it's not working. But I'm doing the stuffing pretty okay. Is it great? Not at all. But it's something. I really wonder what this fluff is like made out of because it's really soft. Okay, her body's filling up. Look at that little, look at that little wowdy. I don't want to make it too hard though because I want Boo to like be able to cuddle her and stuff. Listen, this other eye is so close to falling off as well. It is honestly holding on by literally a thread because that is all I managed to <laughs> get into it with one thread. So like, okay, despite what this effort actually does look like. I really did actually try here. Like I really actually did. Um, I like the consistency of the body. It's nice and like squishy still. Okay, let's carry on sewing up her face. Look, I really take my hat off if I was wearing one to people that do this for a living. Even like those um, crocheted teddy bears and like little creatures and stuff. Like, firstly, how on earth do you have the patience for it? Secondly, the skill that it takes to do that is ridiculous. It is definitely not a skill set that um, I have. <laughs> Evidently, this is... Um, very telling. I also am making knots constantly at the moment out of literally 
every single piece of thread that I end up pulling through. I really don't know what I'm doing wrong, but everything. Like, no lies though, I feel like this has probably been one of the most um, challenging DIYs I've done. Just because, like, you think it's going to be easy because the box literally says five years upwards. You think it's going to be easy. Like, how hard can it be? It's hard. Is it going to be a perfect fox? <laughs> no. Is it going to be some kind of fox-like creature? Probably. Is Boo gonna like it? Probably not. But, you know what? This has still been fun. It has been a definite uh, learning experience for me. Realizing that, you know what, this is not the craft that I would necessarily take up in my spare time. You know how some people, they're like, I don't know, knit and stuff and it like relaxes them. Yeah, this is not one of those things. Look, I mean, I'm, I'm carrying on doing it, I must say. If anything, it's made me feel very persistent. Um, because I'm like, I will finish this. I will. <laughs> I will make something out of this. Good or bad. I just want, you see, look at that. Good or bad. I just want a finished result. And I'm trying my best. Honestly, I really am. I am probably going to end up missing something up when I have to um, put this other ear on. I think that is going to be a very interesting thing for me to do. <laughs> Just because I know <laughs> it's going to be really difficult. But I've, I've got this, okay? I have got this. You just see, so it's like, what, okay. Just don't want to like, I don't know, do something weird with the ear. Also, where is my other ear? Found it. Hi, Lulu Bean. Hi, Lou. Hi, Lou. Come say hi. Hi, hi baby girl, hey, say hi baby, say hi. <laughs> Lulu's, I'm trying to make a toy, yeah, it's not working. Okay. I'm quite excited to make the, um, what is it called? The dress, the little dress that she is wearing. Trying to find the hole. Hey boo! The cats are busy eating. If you're hearing noises, by the way. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm just sewing this last little strip, and then I need to stuff her face, and then we will close her. And then attempt to redo her eye, <laughs> eyes, because this other one is looking rather suspect as well. I really want to see a five-year-old do this, or even a six-year-old, or even a ten-year-old, to be honest with you, that has like zero sewing skills like me, because this has been hard. This has been an experience. I actually don't even want to show you what the back looks like because it's really bad. <laughs> but it's okay because this has been fun and I made something. Art is not always beautiful and perfect. Sometimes it's messy and a little bit retarded looking and not great. <laughs> But it is art nonetheless. Okay, I definitely need to get a little bit more stuffing in here. But I just want to sew up a little bit more because I feel like at the moment um, the stuffing is just like coming out. 
Oh, my Lubin. Do you think you could do a better job? She says, yeah, mom. Yeah. <laughs> you know what the worst thing about this is? Oh, Lou. Is that it is currently after midnight and I'm still busy doing, <laughs> and I'm still busy doing this. And I'm so tired and I've been awake. Baby, can mommy just try and sew this please? Can mommy? <laughs> Deems. Look at this cat. Look at her. She's obsessed. Yeah, you're on camera. Yeah, whiskers, you're on camera. My baby girl. So when I was um, stuck in Portugal, <laughs> Dean, stop, <laughs> you're nodding it. When I was stuck in Portugal, my mom had to look after her um, for obviously when I was there, so for three months. And my mom got this like embroidery kind of, no, not embroidery, um, cross stitch, cross stitch thing to do and just like keep herself like, you know, occupied, thinking like, cool, she's gonna like find a new hobby or something, you know? Um, and Deems literally was obsessed, like would not leave her alone, constantly like bite at the thread and just be like super cute about the whole thing. So I feel like she's remembering the thread and being like, yeah, I remember this. I helped the last time too. Okay, we have a tiny little piece of opening. What's this? Deems, you don't like teddy bears, baby. You only like your suckle blankie. She does, she has a suckle blanket. It's actually, it's not even a blanket, it's a, a hoodie. Um, that I used to wear when she was a kitten. That's actually a very cute story that I used to wear when she was a kitten and she used to like cuddle on me with it. And now she's obsessed with the blanket and she'll only cuddle on that, well not cuddle, but suckle on that blanket. Uh, well, kind of actually any like furry blanket she'll suckle, but that's her favorite and like, if she's like randomly anywhere and I walk into the room, I'm like, Lulu's come suckles. And then she comes like running and jumps on the blanket and it's very cute. And the other eye just came off. She's just blind now. I feel like if it doesn't stay on, she's just going to be blind. Because why not? Why not? Plus Boo only has one eye. So... I feel like it's fitting if Boo's teddy bear has no eyes. <laughs> you know, I'm just honestly being dramatic. I will do the eyes. I have to because it's part of the whole thing and I will get it right. I don't know where the black thread has gone to. Oh, it's on the floor. <laughs> I'm very much low-key excited to finish this because that's <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, this has been an experience, um, but I am very excited for this experience to conclude. She is successfully in the hole that she needs to be. I'm so close now, guys. Ooh, this is the last stitch! Haha! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I sewed her up. Okay, let me tie her off quickly. <laughs> she's soft, she's fluffy. Okay, so we have a lot of orange left. So that's great. I love, I love that for me. I love that we didn't have enough white, but we have like way more orange than we need. Okay, now I need to figure out how to do these eyes so that they actually stay. And I only have this much black left, so... Here is to hoping that this works. You see the knots are both in, so it's definitely, they've just pulled through. So I kind of need to figure out a little bit more of a 
secure situation. Okay, so there's obviously a knot there now, which is not great. So I'm just going to slip him underneath again. Okay, so she's got one eye. She got one eye. Okay, both the eyes are back on. Um, it feels a little bit more secure, so we hope. We hope. Okay, there's a lot of... There's a lot of holes on these two pieces, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but you know what? We said that about the white and it worked out. So here is to hoping that this works out. This has a knot in it and I haven't even used it yet. If that's any kind of foreshadowing how this is going to go. Okay, <laughs> aggressive much. To be fair though, this, um, what is it called? Fabric is uh, quite a bit more intense. Mm, I don't know if I should have started over there actually. Okay, well, we can now, uh, we committed. Talking and trying to unpick this is really hard. <laughs> I don't wanna mess it up in terms of having two different color thread, like it's already messed up. So I don't want to add on to that existing issue. So I feel like if the whole thing was just as easy as just threading it like this, do you know how much quicker this would have been as well? It would have been so much quicker. Okay, so this is her little top and then it goes like that and then that just gets sewn onto this as well. Um, okay, I think I want the felt inside. There's just so much things everywhere. Okay. It's so much easier when you only have to thread like this. And not do like one solid thread throughout. You don't concentrate for like two seconds and then boom, it's messed up. This fabric is a lot harder when you make a mistake. Okay. Look at me going back and trying to make things neater. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> um, okay, in my attempt to try and neaten off the side, it got a little bit messy. Not messy, but the knot just got really big. Um, okay, I just need to sew this one section. I hope I have enough thread. I really hope I have enough thread. How funny would it be if this had to be like sewn on while it was on the fox and like yeah, I couldn't get it over her? <laughs> Murphy's Law. Sure. That's not nice. <laughs> okay, that is too cute. I made that. Okay, that I'm stoked about. Okay. Whew, now we gotta get it on her. It's definitely not gonna go over her head. Ooh, I am second guessing all my stitches because I can just see, look, it fits around her waist, but there's some stitching on the side that is looking a little bit questionable as to if it's actually gonna hold up, but... <laughs> Yay! Oh. I'll put it backwards. Okay, let me just... Okay, it is time to tie the ribbon. And after the ribbon, guys, it is done. I did it, I made it. Okay, also heads up, my ribbon tying skills are shocking. How do you get a bow to look so nice like that? I don't understand. Yeah, if anybody knows how to tie nice bows, please um, teach me, because uh, that's the best I got. <laughs> Let's just take a moment to appreciate how bad the sewing is at the back. <laughs> 
It's so inconsistent everywhere. Yeah, so I mean, she's cute from the front, but not the back. I feel like I didn't do a super bad job. Um, could she be better? 100%. Was it good for my first time sewing in yours? Could be worse. Um, it's fine if you don't look at the back. <laughs> but yeah, she is really cute. I'm happy with how she came out. Um, it was a lot of fun. And yeah, I think it, I think it was good. I'm gonna go find Boo quickly so we can see what her honest start reaction is with this guy. Okay, Boo, we made you something. I don't think she likes it, but you know what? It's okay. I'm just gonna put it by her bed, put some treats around it. I'll, I will fool you guys in um, of if she decides she actually likes it or not. But yeah, this is my little fox that I made and struggled through. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. It's so random, so weird. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know what we should name her or him or it and yeah and please give this video a thumbs up if you think i should not ever sew it again <laughs> and please subscribe it means so much to me but yeah guys i will see you soon with a new video okay bye Hold up.